Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. I am privileged to be joined on the summit today by Coach Matt McCarty at Northwestern, the head football coach of the Red Raiders, who are going to be playing for the NAIA National Championship here in just a few days. Coach, congratulations on making it to the championship game once again, second time in, in three opportunities. But also, I mean, 12-1 and one season, the last time we were talking, we were talking about the fact that 12 wins tied a school record. Well, you went and did it again with another 12-win season, an opportunity to build on that as well. But uh, congratulations. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. It's, it's, it's been a fun run and just so proud of our team and, and what they've accomplished. And we've got a really great group of kids to work with. And, and the focus and, and the hunger that they've prepared with all year has, has put them in, in this place and given them this opportunity to compete for a national championship, which is pretty special. Coach, the defense, let's just start there because the defense has been good all year long, giving up just 10.5 points per game. That's third in the NAI. They've really shown up in the playoffs and in a big-time manner, giving up just seven points in two of the games, 27 to Marion, but but realistically, a lot of those points were in the latter part of the contest. So uh, the defense has done very well. Parker Fryer with a big game in your most recent win this past Saturday, picked off, uh, had an interception in, in a, a time when, when you just need a little momentum. Yeah, our, our defense has really played outstanding all year. And then what's most exciting when you watch those guys play is just the way that they play together. It's it's really they've played some outstanding team defense and are they embrace their roles and they understand how they fit in the entire scheme. And they've played so well together this postseason, but really throughout the whole season. And, um, you know, Parker Fryer had an outstanding game last week and he's had an outstanding season. He, he's he's a very special football player and one of the best defensive players that I've coached. And, you know, he, he made some big plays last Saturday and, and a key interception that, that kept momentum in our favor and, and was huge. And we were able to build off of that. And, you know, that, that group has just takes a lot of pride in the way that they, de- way that they prepare and the way that they play. That was a 38, seven victory over Indiana Wesleyan in the, the national semifinals. Of course you beat Marion and Dickinson state in the playoffs on the way to the championship game and in this season's playoffs. And, you know, you'd look and say, okay, well, it's a 31 point victory, but there are times when momentum swings make all the difference in the world in, in a win like that uh, coach, the offense led by Jalen Gramstad and he came in um, and he, he was in, pretty much every game, I believe, played in in all of the games for you this year. Had a rushing touchdown in 12 of the 13 games, one of those games you didn't need his offense as much, but uh, took over that starting position uh, about midway through. And what a season he has had. And and we've listed the numbers here on Midwest Sportsnet a number of times, but uh, let me just throw out 22 passing touchdowns, 22 rushing touchdowns. What a balanced attack. Yeah, Jalen's really made the difference for our offense, and, and he's such a great leader and such a great competitor. And, and, you know, he's a kid that has started on defense for us the last two years and and made the switch back to quarterback. And we used him in our first four games as kind of a change of pace at quarterback. And then, uh, unfortunately, Blake Fryer went down with an injury, and, and Jalen was ready and stepped in and, and really hasn't looked back since he took over. And he, he's done an outstanding job. He brings great balance to our, our offense and – his ability to to turn negative plays into into positive plays with his feet has just been outstanding, and he's he's just continues to grow and get better from week to week, week to week, which is really exciting to see. Coach, I wanted to mention a couple of other players who have uh, excelled as the season's gone on. Uh, we've talked about Cade Mosier in the preseason. Michael Story has really stepped up in recent weeks as well, and obviously had a good season too. And and uh, talk about the running game with Connor McQuillan and what he's done, and and he's been very it seemed to be very stable for you. Yeah, those guys have done an outstanding job. And, and you know, Cade has been a big part of our offense the past few years. And unfortunately, he, he battled an injury for a majority of the season and ha- has been back and been healthy the last you know month, month and a half, and has been outstanding for us. But in that time, Mike had to step into a bigger role. And, and Mike really embraced that and, and became a leader for our offense. And he's he's had some outstanding games for us in this postseason and is a special football player. And you put the ball anywhere around him, that, that kid will find a way to catch it. And Connor McQuillan has been steady. And we've, we've kind of got a, a two-headed rushing attack with Connor McQuillan and Logan Meyer. And, you know, early in the year, we were trying to balance those guys as much as we could to keep them fresh for the postseason. And I, I think, you know, each one of them would have loved more carries throughout the season. But I think right now they, they have seen the benefits of being fresh. And Connor's been explosive for us this postseason, has had a couple hundred-yard gains. And 
has really done a great job for us. We're here on Midwest Sportsnet today speaking with Coach Matt McCarty from Northwestern. I encourage you, please take the time, like the video, and share it, and, and subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that here. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Seventh season as the head coach for Coach McCarty. Uh, that's also a good number for you all right now. Seventh championship appearance that the program is heading to. So uh, congratulations again for that. And, and speaking of, of which, in your time there, uh, you received another honor this past week, the NAI Region 4 Coach of the year second time for you to to be named such yeah it's a great honor and really it's a result of um all the work that our players have done and our assistant coaches i'm i'm surrounded by so many great people and um you know i think our coaching staff has done an outstanding job of of casting a, a vision of, of what we want our program to be about and our players have really embraced that and, and have cultivated a great culture and it's so much been so much fun to work with the kids that we get to work with and you know, some of those honors are just a result of, of having great kids that have really bought into an awesome, awesome vision and have really done a great job of, of building on that from year to year. Well, congratulations on that honor, but I know you're, you're pushing on toward uh, a bigger thing for the team as well this week coming up. You look back 12 and one this year, you open the season against Morningside, a one point loss against the defending champions. And, and since that time, I mean, 12 consecutive wins, Looking back right now, and I know you'll, you'll have more time in the next two or three weeks to look back a little bit more, but do, do you see a point in the season where you felt like things were really gelling and coming together and, and you think, hey, we can make a run at this? Yeah, you know, I think for us that that, that first game was big. It was a, a really good opportunity for us to kind of find out where we were coming out of fall camp, and we learned a lot about ourselves, and it is a really good snapshot of where we were at that time, and obviously we wish we would have won that game, but um, you know, the loss allowed us to kind of refocus and, and see areas that we needed to improve on. And our, our players deserve a ton of credit for, for really just refocusing and, and, you know, having a renewed commitment to, to what they wanted to accomplish this season and the way that they attacked each week. Honestly, looking at our guys the Monday after that game, I, I knew something special was going to happen this season because I could see just the hunger and resolve in their eyes. And, and, and they've attacked and gotten better from week to week. And, I think something that makes this group so special is they're always focused on our next game being our best game and they're never satisfied. And I think that's been fun to see because even after the semifinal win, when we got in the locker room, you know, they were excited. They were happy for the opportunity to compete for a national championship, but they, they know they want to get that one more, that one last win. And I think this, the focus of this group has been really special. Well, that last win's happened a couple times for the program, but it's been a few years, 1973 and 1983, the national championship year. So 39 seasons have gone by, and, and it, it may be time there for Northwestern. And speaking of that, Coach, uh, the game coming up, championship game, will be on December 17th, that's Saturday, and the game time has been moved up to 11 o'clock. Uh, one last question, Coach. Uh, speaking of that game, and you're heading into your first ever uh, meeting against Kaiser, who is in the championship game for the first time, and uh, it it looks uh, the way everything is built up to be an incredible matchup. Can you tell us just a little bit about uh, what we might see? Uh, Kaiser is an outstanding football team, and Coach Sosha has done a, a really great job of, of just building an elite program there. And you know, I think we match up together where we're very similar teams. We're really strong up front on both sides of the football, and and they do an outstanding job of running the football and offense. Two great running backs that are over a thousand yards, and, and some great weapons on the outside. And you know, it looks very similar to what we do on offense and who we are on offense. And defensively, they they fly around and and make things really difficult for their opponents. Um, they're they're a great football team, and it's it's going to be fun to be able to match up with them for the first time. And uh, we're just excited for that opportunity to compete for a championship. Well, Coach, we look forward to watching that championship game again Saturday, December 17th, Northwestern and Kaiser playing for the NAI Football Championship. Coach Matt McCarty, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate it. We always enjoy following the program and following you in particular. Uh, it's it's a privilege to get to watch you all, and, and uh, success to you all, and, and good luck coming up in the championship. Thank you. I appreciate it.